prompted by alarming declines in the number of moose in some parts of the U.S. and a perceived declining population in Montana, new work is underway in three local study areas. On the Rocky Mountain front west of Shoto, in the Cabinet Mountains near Libby, and here between Wisdom and Jackson in the upper Big Hole Valley. Places where researchers will look at the impacts on the largest member of the deer family. We used helicopter darting to capture a dozen moose in each of our three study areas, so 36 moose total. And we choose different parts of Montana to study moose because it seems likely that there are different factors driving moose dynamics in different places. Once we have the moose in hand, we, we put on a radio collar, we ear tag it, and then we use an ultrasound to measure the, the rump fat. Uh, which gives us a good window into the nutritional condition of the moose. We're doing some assessments of tick loads and other external parasites. And then we collect a blood sample, collect a fecal sample, which we can use to um, measure the diet of the moose and also as another means of detecting pregnancy status given the measurements that we took. We would estimate these adult females to be around six to 800 pounds. We focus on adult females because there really are our window into the key rates driving the populations. We've got concern about predation, about parasites. Human hunting plays a role in, in most dynamics and there's also uh, concerns about habitat and, and we can't really study ungulates without paying attention to habitat as well. Much of the critical habitat relied upon by our moose is provided on private land. This is Mike Grunet, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.